Hey guys, Sherry here from No Fucks Giving Crew. How's it going? Um, so, I've been inspired to do um, a special reading. Um, so, the inspiration comes from Tara Rose, hey girlfriend. Um, she did a reading for me the other day and it was very powerful. Um, and so, that energy um, seems to be manifesting its way into each other like a, both of our lives on some level so we're being inspired and she's definitely inspired me to um, follow her suit she did a reading a new, re new moon reading um, and what she did was just uh, cut the decks oh <laughs> this caught my attention there it is okay anyway she cut the decks um, like she had a number of decks sitting out and she just cut them in half and just to see what the energy was, what the card was. Uh, so I'm going to do the same. Thank you, Tara Rose. Inspiration. All right. So hopefully that stays there. I guess that's all we need to know is that this is a two of cups. It's spiritual union. Uh, this card uh, refers to recognizing your soulmate or twin flame so it's a heart chakra activation um and through that heart chakra activation there is um you know higher levels of consciousness is then activated so like the third eye and the crown chakra so there's a an even exchange of energy between your you and your soulmate or twin flame you reflect each other you vibrate at the same frequency so that's what this um, card reflects is that energy um, so it's union on a spiritual level so this could be like a 5d union between you and your twin but really it means a deep love heart chakra activation means unconditional love um, and it's due to a spiritual bond and a shared vibration so that is reflective of a twin flame connection for me so there's that one um, I don't know if I want to cut all the decks. It's quite a bit. So let me just give this one a quick shuffle. I'll, I'll, we'll just play it by ear, I guess. All right. You know what? I'm just going to look at the bottom of the decks. How about that? Instead of cutting them. The Knight of Pentacles, slowing down. So for me, this card is reflective of a very long journey. Um... The Knight of Pentacles is a very slow moving energy. Um, there's no need, there's no want, there's no rush um, because there's no destination. Um, even though, you know, this represents a 3D manifestation of a connection or a new beginning, you know, a long term goal um, into the 3D, really, this is talking about. Um, you know, making a plans and carrying out those plans, but not having to rush to get anywhere because what you need is already with you. You carry your home on your back. Um, but for the right away deck, this is really talking about this long term goal, starting to manifest um, your dreams into the 3D world. So, double meaning there, but really for the Osho, is slowing down. However, um, there's a sense that the destination is already there. So there's um, a consciousness, like a conscious realization, what I'm feeling with this card. It's like, um, you know, you already have everything that you need with you. And so it's a peacefulness that I see here. Very grounded, very determined. Um, it will, you know, if it were, there was a goal out there, it would reach that goal. Um, so yeah, it's been a journey that's been happening for a very long time, but there's a movement forward one step at a time, one evolutionary step at a time to reach that, you know, ultimate union However, that's not what I'm seeing here right now. The importance is this, this spiritual union. And I feel like with just the two cards together, it's like 
it's pointing to the fact that you are already home. You've already attained what you need. I should actually maybe even just read the card to you. It's pretty f profound. So let's do that. Slowing down the Knight of Pentacles. Okay. The night of rainbow is a reminder that just like this tortoise, we carry our home with us wherever we go. There is no need to hurry, no need to seek shelter elsewhere. Even as we move into the depths of our emotional waters, we can remain self-contained and free from attachments. It is a time when you are ready to let go of any expectations you have had about yourself or other people and take, to take responsibility for any illusions you might have been carrying. There is no need to do anything but rest in the fullness of who you are right now. If, you desire, if your desires and hopes and dreams are fading, so much the better. Their disappearance is making space for a new quality of stillness and acceptance of what is. And you are able to welcome this development in a way you have never been able to before. Savor the quality of slowing down of coming to rest and recognizing that you are already home. So, you know, there's that, that feeling of not needing to do anything. Allow the universe to work its magic. Do you know what I mean? It's um, a self-love. Okay, so what else? Let's do this one. Uh, so that was the Osho Zen. This is uh, Fairy by Lenormand. Okay, so this card reflects putting a lot of effort and energy into something. Um, and somebody else is reaping the reward for it. So a lot of effort is being put forth. And so there's an imbalance of the energy. So what I'm feeling is that it's related to this disconnect that is needed or is, has already happened. Do you know what I mean? There's no, it's like, it's a realization of this moment, you know, that detachment, that moment of clarity. You know, when you've been working a nine to five job, um, you know, to build up wealth and material possessions in the 3D, there comes a moment on this path of enlightenment where you realize that you've been wasting your life, you know, chasing things that don't bring you happiness. So this I feel is like that uh, a spiritual awakening an epiphany that there's nothing out there that needs to be attained um, so it's a release is what I'm seeing here who's next yes let's do this one oh. so I've never use these cards yet, although I bought them quite a long time ago. This one's screaming to me. The Skunk. Interesting. Okay, so I've never read this, like I said. I'm debating if I should do it now. Yes, let's do that. Number seven. Okay, so I'm not going to hold it up. I'll just move it closer if you can see it there. There we go. Okay. Skunk medicine. Go ahead and laugh. This is furry little animal. has a reputation that contains a great deal of power. Due to its d distinctive behavior, humans give this tiny smelly creature a wide berth. The key word here is respect. Unlike other predatory animals, skunk does not threaten your life, but threatens your senses. You know this to be true if you have ever 
being in the vicinity of its spray. In observing, sorry, in observing the habit patterns of skunk, it is easy to notice the playfulness and nonchalance of its natural behavior. The I dare you attitude of this four-legged creature commands you as a, the observer to respect its space by mere reputation alone. Skunk is teaching you that by walking your talk and by respecting yourself, you will create a position of strength and honored reputation. The carriage of your body relates to others what you believe about yourself. There is no need to bully, aggravate, torment, or overpower other beings when your sense of self is intact. As with skunk, um, the resonant field of energy around your body is relayed through your senses. Self-esteem permeates the body energy and is instantly recognized on an extrasensory level by others. Learn to assert your Learn to assert without ego what you are. Respect follows. Your self-respectful attitude will repel, repel those who are not of like mind and yet will attract those who choose the same pathway. As the odor of skunk attracts others of its kind, it repels those who will not respect its space. So, let's see. It goes on, so I'm going to leave it at that, but... I can see where his source is getting with that. You know, it's like what I was saying. It's like the same frequency, the same harmonics that are shared between twin flames. And so you set up an energy field, okay? And you start to repel those things that are no longer serving you. You start to see reality with, you know, with a different glint of light, basically. You see things differently. Um, you can't continue to be in uh, an environment that isn't harmonious with your own frequency. You'll continue to feel this way. So what this is telling me is that, you know, there are people that will be uh, disconnecting from you and let them go that's all the better. It allows for more positive, more harmonious energies uh, to come in. And that's kind of how I feel with Tara Rose. We vibrate at a, a, you know, a similar frequency. Um, so I could really understand where she's going in her readings and, you know, on a 5D level. So, you know, we then inspire each other. So that's awesome, um, and that's what I'm seeing here, is that, that energy field that you create um, when you meet people that, but, you know, vibrate at your own frequency, you attract that energy towards you and repel that which no longer serves you. So we started with this, let's put them in sequence here. All right, who's next? Um, let's do John Holland. This one. Temptation, the devil. So this card talks about attachments, you know, chains in the 3D. It is codependent relationships, addictions, um, self-limiting beliefs. You know, it's a a chain. It's a link that's binding you to something in the 3D. So you're placing too much importance on it or something is restricting you. You could even be hiding behind this ki this kind of energy. And so that's what I'm kind of feeling with this card as well. It's this chain that is binding you to something. And as long as you stay connected to that energy, you will never feel fulfilled. You will never really attain this this home because you know it the vibration just doesn't match. So that chain, whatever it is, needs to be released. All right, we did the O show. So call it Baron Reed. You are next.
Encouragement. How oh, beautiful. So that is the last card in the Colette Baron Reed deck. So it's a message from the universe. It's giving you encouragement to disconnect from that chain. So, encouragement. You are receiving a nudge in the right direction. This card tells you that you're being gently encouraged to step into your power, into the dream of your life. New things are out there to be explored, and the nurturing power of the universe is giving you a nudge in the right direction. You will, you will get the help you need when you, and won't be alone on your quest. Every step you take right now is supported by the wisdom of the universe. You are on the right path. Keep going. Sorry, um, when I stumble like that is because I'm super ADHD and my mind is thinking thoughts <laughs> while my mouth is talking. So whenever I stumble like that, it's because I've gone into this transcendent state where I'm, you know, it's almost like um, precognitive uh, energy. So it's, you know, spirit. Um, I don't really like to say angels, but, you know, divine guidance. Um, yeah. Okay, so, yeah, it's like, what I was feeling here is like actual nudges as I was reading it. So that really came through strong, but also it's, you know, reaching out and um, allowing people to come in and help you, connecting with other souls that are like-minded. You know, it's uh, that energy, energy of, you know, that message of you're not alone. We're all on this journey together. So, you know, there's no competition. And when you reach out and you connect with other people that are like you, it opens this field of potential. And, you know, that energy field vibrates even more when the energies combine. You know, I'm seeing this, like, big bubble that, of light that just keeps expanding and expanding. So eventually it, it swallows up this, you know, dark energy. So that's what the new moon is all about. It's a release, you know, it's, um, you know, you're setting the energy for the next 28 days until the next new moon. So it's like you're setting that seed of intention and it grows. So what I'm seeing here, you know, it, it's the energy starting off with this pure spiritual vibration. And then it's like it's building to show how there's a, you know, a transformation of an energy field um, and a return back to home is what I'm feeling. You know, you get lost in the 3D, you get lost in the mind, you get lost, you know, in fears and doubt and you get swallowed up by the unconscious mind. It's very easy, you know, to get swallowed up and you know, work for money, <laughs> not love. You're working for attaining possessions. Um, so yeah, I see a shift and a release. Okay, so let's pick... Um, being called just to cut this deck. Five of Pentacles. So there's a fear of if I release this devil energy, this chain, then I'm going to be left out in the cold. Um, I'll be alone. There's going to be nobody to help me. So I might as well just stay where I am and keep doing, you know, stay in the machine. You know, it's like wanting to return back to the matrix. But... You can't go back to the matrix once you've been released, right? So it's like you you can stay in that energy field. You know, the universe is giving a clear message, you know, for you to move on. And that's how the universe works. It's 
gives you signs and synchronicities and, you know, plays with the energy field, the aura around you. And until you finally get it, <laughs> you know, and anyway, this is a feeling of hardship, being left out in the cold, being disconnected. Um, but then, you know, that's connected to the ego. This whole journey of enlightenment is the disconnect from 3D and a movement towards awareness of self and awareness of how self is connected to all we're never alone we're always connected we're always reaching out we're always making new friends we're always surrounded by positive energy it's all a matter of perspective you know do you want to continue to be that you know rooted tree um, lifeless really that's attained abundance but really what is it for you know in the end what matters most is did you love not what did you how much have you acquired but did you love really love That, this is a card that stands out among them all. And it's a repeated message throughout all the cards. Okay, so I'm going to do one more. Um, so this is Myths and Mermaids, this card. Sea Chariot. Very nice. So I'm a Cancer. Chariot is Cancer. And we are now transiting into... The cancer energy. So let's read that one. So this will be the final message, okay? Or the overall message of what Spirit is trying to, to tell us. So, Sea Chariot. Once I rode a passive babe at the mercy of those around me, a defenseless child with demeanor so mild as to encourage uh, complacency. Yet, as time passed by, I endeavored to try a uh, temperament more becoming, so I grabbed the reins, and I've made my gains as the charioteer commanding. A white-haired beauty rides upon the chariot pulled by curious fishes. She is optimistic, in control, and the captain of her destiny. Yeah, that's exactly what I was saying. It's like, take control. Like, keep Take control of your own life. Live your life instead of this. For this, you know, the, the chain. Yeah, actually, let's keep that all down there. Because we've broken the chain right now. All right. Okay, so um, the meaning, assert control. Sorry, uh, I just want to make sure. So the young and inexperienced, though young and inexperienced, she is prepared to take command and forge her own path. So the meaning, assert your control. It is time for you to assert control. You have given the reins over to others in too many areas of your life, and it is time to grab them back. Take stock of all arenas of your life, your profession, your personal relationships, monetary considerations, group associations and home obligations. Determine where you are dissatisfied with your level of involvement and make a plan to take back control. It is perfectly acceptable and desirable to trust others to help you with some aspects of your life, but it is up to you and you alone to make sure this help does not turn into dependence. You are the sole captain of your ship. You need to be at the helm when and where it matters the most. Bam! Beautiful, beautiful, sums it all up. That's awesome. Go ahead, guys. Take control of your life. Lead the life that you've always wanted to. Um, you know, home is where the heart is, okay? It's not a material 3D thing. So 
you know, this is not real. This is an illusion. There isn't something out there that you need to make you feel whole. So, you know, it's a mind switch, you know, perspective change. And uh, so the message is quite loud here. All right, guys, I hope this made sense. Um, yeah, love you a lot. So I just want to remind you guys again that I'm going to be off for three weeks in July. Um, so if you want to book a reading with me, now would be a great time to do it. All right, peace, much love.